G'day friends, it's Kim here from Kim's Homestead. How are you today? All good I hope. Well, it's been pouring most of today, so I thought it would be such a good day to plant out a few seedlings and pretty the place up a bit. And as it be, um, the estate agent has got some people to have a look through the house tomorrow so what good timing anyway i thought i would bring you along and you can see what i'm planting up what i'm starting with and how it's going to finish by the end of it anyway let's get into it okay so Let's see if I can get better. There we go. What I have to start with is these little rain gutters on the side of the fence along my walkway. They need to be planted up with something pretty. And this path here needs a good rake and a bit of a clean up. And this is on the way down to the potting station. So, what do I have? Well, I have some nice petunias, which I thought would be pretty. And there's also a couple of violas and purple uh, lysianthems, I think they are. No, nah, Lobelia. That's it. Blue, purple, whatever you call them. Uh, where are we? There we go. I thought they'd be pretty in between anyway. So, and there's this pot here that needs a bit of colour or something. So... Let's start planting. Well, I'll set you up over here. And... Hello. The, um... Mulberry bush is starting to drop fruit starting to ripen up with the rain. Beautiful.
Right, that's one lot. We have a double flare here, so I'm going to separate it, or try to anyway. one in here and put the purple one down there Water them in. Now I just swing you around. Have this nice purple one. Then we have that one. And that one's a weed. That can come out.
Okay, what I also have is a hanging pot which I've put a whole heap of very old horse manure in. Very old and very dry. And I have this pot it's, uh, it's either Vinca or Vinca, Perry White. It's basically a ground cover, but I'm going to be using it as a hanging pot, which I'll be hanging up inside my archway near the back door. potting mix. So I'll just go and get some and I'll be right back. Okay so what I'm doing is just taking out the chain. I'll push it in and it has a little little twist like that. So I twist it up, push it back through and the chain's out. That rain is getting very heavy now. This is lovely. in Rain, water it all in. <coughs> 
and that's where it's gonna go for now anyway until it's a bit bigger That's why I didn't want the chain rusting. There we go. We'll let the rain wash it in. Now I better go inside before it washes me in. Well, it's about a week later and I've been a bit busy with opens and everything else. But I thought I'd come out and show you my garden after that rain that we got which was absolutely beautiful and the garden is just starting to sort of come really really good from it. My pelargoniums are just going berserk. And Pandora. And this is paperbark tree. Isn't the flowers beautiful this time of year? And here's that little plant that I potted up the last of the video there for you. And it's doing really well. Uh, it's actually got some new shoots by the look of it. And hopefully a little flower bud forming. My capsicum at the back door is doing really well. Not really sure what type this is. I think it's a big gym. Anyway, it's doing really well, but it's in with uh, this one here, which is a variegated something or other, which is about to come out and flower. And it's just beautiful. Sorry about the noise and the dog. Bloody thing. There we go. There's a little flower that it comes out in little yellow centre hmm. and I think I've got a hollyhock a pink hollyhock in there as well it's a while off flowering this one but it'll be beautiful at the back door when it comes out in full flower my day lilies are nearly finished so they've put on a beautiful display. I will be taking some um, bulbs with me, so I'll dig them up and take them with me. Not all of them, I will leave the new owners some, but they're not having all of them. This one here is a beautiful uh, burgundy red dahlia. It's absolutely gorgeous when it comes out in flower and it will be coming with me as well. Now something else I wanted to show you was the mulberries. My mulberry tree is just absolutely packed. Look at them all. Not sure how well you can see them, but there's more mulberries in there than I will eat in a lifetime. Hang on, I'll see if I can get in closer. Let alone all over the ground. And I just cannot get anybody that wants to pick them. Such a shame. I've picked a heap already and made into jams. And bottled fruit. And sauces and syrups and I've got a heap already frozen and I just can't keep up with them and they are so yummy
Hmm. An excuse me moment or two. I could honestly sit out here and feed my face and it would not make a dent. Here we go with some more. See, absolutely loaded. Now the seedlings I planted out are still doing really well. Some have flowered a little bit. And some not quite yet, but it won't be long. And they will be flowering quite well. And then I've got the climbing geraniums. They're also doing well. Oh, there's my big fat finger. Trying to get the colour for you. There we go. And my... Uh, what is it? Pineapple sage is just starting to come out and flower as well. My um, <coughs> ah, my zucchinis have their first flower. They're the ones we planted together only a couple of videos ago. Let's go up here and have a look at the other ones. Okay, there we go. He's hidden right in there. Sorry, the neighbours are a little bit noisy at the moment. And there we go. And here we are, we have their carrots. Not as thickly planted as what I wanted, but I will take them. And the seed head, by the look, yeah, there we go, carrot seed head. is nearly ready for harvesting even the passion fruit this year is loaded with flowers so there's going to be quite a good crop of passion fruit this year I think so I'm going to have to figure out what to do with it all before I leave the homestead. Even the strawberries are starting to come on. They're starting to get their little flowers now. And it looks like my uh, leafless shelling pea is ready to be picked for seed for next year. They're all nicely dried out, so I'll pick them before it rains and they'll be ready for seed for next year. Who said geraniums aren't pretty? This one is a hanging one that I have and the flowers are just beautiful. 
Here are some of the pelargoniums I have potted. Very pretty. Uh, these are some of the others that I have potted. Obviously many of the same, just to make sure that I get live ones. Uh, the peppers are doing really well, or capsicums depending on where you live. They're all in pots this year. Doing well, see, Pro starting to grow capsicums and starting to flower. Ah, then we have some nice um, snapdragons up there for a bit of colour and over here is my tomatoes remember when we planted them look how they've grown they've done really really well there's my orange tree the other one's not doing so well but I have had them come back from worse, so we live in hope. Poor little thing, probably gone to God. And there's my persimmon tree. Don't know where I'm going to plant it in the new place, but and more hollyhocks. Well, there's just a little um, follow-up on the plantings that I did with you. And, uh, yeah, it's coming along nicely. So, I'll probably chuck in a few more snaps of some of the other things that have come out and bloomed. And uh, I'm looking at one of my poppies that have bloomed in with the garlic. So I'll chuck a little snapshot of that in there too. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, I'm sorry this video has come out very late, but as you can imagine with selling a house or property, there is a huge amount to do. Um, especially as you know we're having opens at least once if not twice a week and to get ready for it is a lot <laughs> anyway I hope this all f finds you well and I will catch you again soon bye for now folks